Let me. Uh, sorry about that. Let me try again. Morning, Facebook people. Um, Enjoy your pen. Just trying to get the phone people set up. 1281. Had a little technical issues there. Welcome. Please wait one second while we connect to the live stream. Once you hear the beep, you are live. When you are finished, just hang up. Waiting for our phone people. Um, trying to get that set up. Uh, got a few of you guys jumping on. Hey, morning, Joe. Um, let's see if I can get this phone to work this morning. Ah, well, we'll, we'll see. Um, good to see all of you guys as you're jumping on here this morning. Um, hope you had a good Friday night. Uh, we made some homemade pizza last night and uh, enjoyed our time with our boys. Um, so that was that was a nice nice evening. Um, I don't know if I we got our phone people on. Um, I, I think we did. Uh, so hopefully they're with us. We had a little issue there. So um, we're going to finish up uh, the book of Jeremiah today. Uh, not the whole book, but just the part we're looking at, chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. And um, I'm going to kind of finish up what we've been working on this week and see how it can really have an impact uh, on our our lives uh, this week as we as we move uh, forward uh, in the upcoming upcoming week. Uh, let me begin today with a, just a word of prayer. Father, we're grateful we can gather together here uh, this morning um, that we can have this time in Your Word uh, to be encouraged and strengthened, uh, but also empowered, Lord, uh, to be people who are. Uh, because of our deep roots in you, uh, producing uh, green leaves and abundant fruit. Uh, Lord, give us the desire uh, to step out in faith, knowing that we are filled with your power, uh, the same power that raised you from the dead, you have given us in our baptism, and you continue to give us through your word. And so help us to live as those resurrected people, those people of life, John 10, 10, people. Uh, we're grateful for that privilege and opportunity today, Lord. Uh, and we look forward to gathering together uh, tomorrow as your, as your church um, and, and hearing again that you are with us. Uh, you are a God who is present with us so that we can live in the present tense. Uh, we ask all of this uh, now in Jesus' name. Amen. So what we've been focusing on this week is how is it that we can be people who are living in, in the present tense? How can we, amid the anxiety and fears and stresses of the, these times, how can we be people who mature and grow and actually flourish? Well, we've come to discover that that happens when we live in faith and not by fear, and we live in the power of, of the Holy Spirit. Um, you remember Jesus' disciples locked away and afraid and scared, and yet when they were filled with the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, uh, they changed the world. And God can still work through people like us uh, to do just that. And as those who are rooted deep in him, uh, we can be people whose leaves are green and people who are bearing much, uh, much fruit. Uh, we've been looking at Jeremiah. Let me just read those words uh, from Jeremiah 17 again. Uh, today as we make them our own. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never fails. Their world at, at that time, uh, as these words are written, um, <clears throat> and it was in this time of crisis that that God really worked in their hearts and in their lives. And it's usually, and as we'll, as we know, it's in times of desperation that that God can really work to change our hearts and our lives. Uh, you see, it's in those times of desperation that 
that we recognize our need uh, for a savior. It's in those times of desperation that we can embrace the fresh truths uh, that God has uh, in store for us. But that oftentimes comes in these times of desperation when we're willing to be still and hear what God is saying to us. And in this word of scripture, God has a lot to say uh, today. He, in fact, says we can live this blessed life, um, this blessed life that God wants for us um, when we, uh, as we have come to learn, have a simple, confident trust in, in the Lord. That's where our blessing comes, when we are connected, when we have confidence in, in the Lord. And we talked about this week how sometimes in the midst of worry and uncertainty, that can be difficult to do. Uh, and yet we had some practical advice for that. But remembering Jesus is our good shepherd, that he wants what's best for us. Um, celebrating uh, the fact that we can bring our cares and concerns to him. Uh, so much so that in this confidence, we talked about how we can be trees that are do deeply rooted. Uh, you know, it's God's word and promise to us that that really and truly uh, gives us deep roots. Um, that 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 we long for that, uh, that we desire that, because we know that it's God's word and promise that that gives us this life that we so long for. And so we're willing to, to work to get some of that stuff because we know how, how good it is. And, and when we have deep roots, we can be people with branches that are, are going out. Uh, it's not just about how good it can be for me, but how I can share what I have been given with others. And we don't have to fear, as we talked about yesterday, uh, or worry in times of of heat or or drought because we're connected we're we're joined to the source of of life and as we recognize today this this source of life it shows itself in in us as as we are people whose leaves are always green now that's uh that's an important thing and we're going to look at that in just a moment as we turn our attention to to Revelation chapter 22, the very last uh, book of the of the scripture. Uh, and we're going to see that the, the, the symbolism that goes along with leaves that are always green. Its leaves are always green. This one who is deep rooted in, in, in Christ. And as a result of that, uh, we can be people who are producing the fruit of, of the Spirit. So what does it mean that our leaves are, are always uh, green? Well, if we turn to Revelation chapter 22, it's very interesting. Um, when uh, this is the last, uh, last chapter of the scriptures, uh, and it shows the fulfillment, uh, the picture of, of what it's going to happen when Christ returns. And here's what, here's what we read um, in Revelation chapter 22. Uh, and I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, but really focus on, on verse 2. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life. If you might say the stream where we've our roots are, are finding its source of life. As clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the land, Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month and and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations isn't it amazing how jeremiah speaks about uh, a tree we are that tree where its leaves are always green and what does that mean that the leaves that that we have can bring healing uh to the nations as we are people of love and people who are willing to forgive as we are people who are following in the way of, of Jesus. We can bring healing. And that healing happens when, when we bear the fruit of the Spirit. When we are people of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. Amazing. Rooted in Jesus, we can bring healing to a broken world as we produce 
are the fruit of the Spirit. So, what is our practice for today? Yesterday, I asked you guys, in the midst of worry and concerns, to write down, name uh, the things of, of thanks, things that you are grateful for. Uh, it's a reminder, again, a daily reminder of all that we have been blessed with. And then also to bring our cares uh, to the Lord, our concerns, and name them. Write them down. Have a list. Look at that list so that we can have uh, know that God has authority over those things in, in our life. And so today, uh, as we recognize that we are people whose leaves are green and that we can bear the fruit of the Spirit, I am going to ask you to ask the Holy Spirit to tell you who are five people that God has placed on your heart. So five people, and I'm going to ask you to do this, five minutes on five people next week. All right, five minutes on five people next week. That may mean praying for them each day. Uh, it may mean calling them or writing a letter or whatever that may be, reaching out to them. Five people for five uh, minutes next week. Bring the healing. Bring the healing, uh, those green leaves uh, that, that we are producing because we're joined to Jesus as we live as people who are bearing uh, much fruit. So uh, that's our practice for next week. Uh, ask the Holy Spirit to direct you to five people, five minutes on five people next week as you bring healing to them. The, the message of, 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 of blessing that is ours when we are joined uh, to Jesus. And, confident uh, in, in him. A couple of things. We're going to worship tomorrow, uh, 1010. Excited about that. Uh, looking forward to that as we continue our look at how do we, how do we live in the present tense. And I'm going to kind of come to a radical conclusion for you tomorrow. Uh, so join us with that. We're also going to be trying something after worship tomorrow. Uh, we're going to try for a Zoom fellowship time. Uh, and so uh, you should have received a link uh, in your email yesterday, Bethel Westmont uh, Gmail. Uh, so look for that link. We're going to gather together, look at each other's faces on Zoom, break you down into some smaller groups so that we can have a little bit of conversation uh, and just kind of catch up uh, with, with one another in that way. So I'm looking forward to that um, and excited about that. Also, um, we I, uh, asked you to fill out a survey. I appreciate all of you who have done that. Um, if you haven't done that yet, I just encourage you to do so. It kind of helps uh, the leadership here at Church gauge where we're at as a congregation um, and uh, what the, some of the needs are uh, out there when we can't uh, be in, in uh, real close uh, communication with each other. So that, that's, a, that's really helpful. One other thing next week, uh, it's our... Uh, confirmation. Uh, we're getting ready for our eighth graders uh, to confirm their faith. Uh, obviously going to be a little bit different this year, but we're hoping to have an opportunity for their faith sharing uh, this Thursday night. So if you're interested in that, uh, give me a, give me uh, an email and um, we're going to obviously do it over Zoom. Uh, so if you're interested in being a part of that, uh, let, me, let me know and I can send you out that link. I think that's it. Uh, let me just close with prayer. I saw one prayer request today for Sue Richardson. It's her birthday today. We celebrate with Sue um, and uh, grateful for her indeed. Continue to lift up Ad, Lou's friend, uh, Keith, Blake, Barb, um, and others uh, that we pray for on a daily basis. So let me, let me pray. Lord, uh, good to be with you today. Good to be with your people uh, in your word. Uh, know that when we're when we put our trust in you, Lord, we are truly living the blessed life and that we need not be people uh, who are afraid or worried because we are joined to Jesus. Our roots run deep in him. And uh, as a result of that, we can be people whose leaves are green and bring healing to a broken world uh, as we uh, produce the fruit of, of your spirit. Lord, uh, we ask that you would place five people on our hearts uh, this day that we can connect with uh, this week. Uh, that we can spend five minutes with either in prayer uh, or in conversation or uh, acknowledgement, uh, whatever that may be. Uh, 
Lord, uh, uh, help us uh, help us to represent you well uh, in this time. Uh, we ask, Lord, uh, your blessing on our worship tomorrow. Just pray that all would go smoothly at 1010, uh, that we can get out the message, uh, the message of good news, that you are with us in the present tense, and we can live as your people uh, in the midst of this time as we listen uh, to your voice. Lord, bless our day uh, and bless your people. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, all of you have a good day um, and uh, look forward to maybe seeing some of you tomorrow uh, as we gather for fellowship after, uh, after worship. Uh, God's blessings to you today. See you later. Bye-bye.